Good morning, beautiful people. Um, my name is Brittany. Welcome if you've never been to my channel before. I am doing my first vegan what I eat in a day. I've been vegan for about three months now, and uh, I just kind of want to share what this looks like. Um, I do think it's really interesting as we see more and more people going vegan or trying out a vegan lifestyle. I do always kind of like to tell people who are kind of scared who think that vegans eat a lot of sad food. Um, I love to tell them that the lifespan of a taste bud is about two weeks. So while you may honestly really, really have an aversion to certain types of food, uh, or you just think a lot of things don't taste good, maybe you're not a big greens eater, maybe you're not a big salad eater, um, that can change. <laughs> a lot of times as we age, um, it becomes less about really, really having an aversion to the food and um, just about the way that we feel about it and our memories of it. So if we can rewire those and reshape them, we're totally able to change the way that we eat, change the way that we live, and change the way that we function as people. So, that being said, I usually like to start my morning with a liquid breakfast. So here is just, yes, it's a smoothie. Everyone drinks smoothies. I love having a liquid breakfast. Um, I usually drink about hmm, 20 ounces of water or so in the morning before I drink this. Um, I just have about two cups of spinach in here, uh, maybe half a cup of dark cherries, frozen dark cherries, one banana, and it's pretty small. Usually I use a bigger banana. Three basil leaves and about three tablespoons of flax meal. And flax meal is a flax seed. Um, flax is also a really, really great substitute for eggs. You can just do, I think it's like one tablespoon of flax to two and a half tablespoons of water. And the consistency is just like eggs. I bake with that all the time. Um, so yeah, there's so many substitutions out there now for vegan lifestyle. There's like no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> so love you guys. I'm about to head out to a job and I will talk to you later. sit down and start editing another video um so this is a pretty typical looking lunch for me i did homemade hummus and the recipe is on my blog i'll go ahead and put the link in the description box down below i made a little pesto to go on top of the hummus and just some brown rice that i seasoned um, with like some greek flavorings like cumin oregano tomato that i made last night and over a bed of romaine, I have some avocado right here and a little pita and like three or four little olives just for some salt. So that is my little lunch. Um, usually I have a little bit more lettuce, but I'm about to run out to a fitting right now for a job I'm doing this week. So I have to scarf this down and get out of the house. And now for the main event. I love, love, love to make taco salad. So I wanted to take you guys on a little journey through while I make my taco salad. So you're gonna start out just by uh, dicing about a quarter of an onion. And this comes together so quickly. It's probably one of my favorite go-to dinners to make. And right now I'm just showing you guys how to make the refried black beans. I make them every time I do taco salad, just one clove of garlic, a quarter of an onion. And what I'm doing is just putting these off on the side into a cast iron skillet, which I just have lightly greased with some olive oil. And I'll show you the seasonings that I'm going to use. So this is my Indian daba, where I keep a lot of my Indian seasonings. That's cumin, just about a teaspoon and a half of cumin. I'm gonna grind it up in my mortar and pestle and then put about, mm, probably about a teaspoon or so into the cast iron skillet with the garlic and onions that I am sauteing. And I'm gonna add to that just a little bit of garlic powder. So here it is in the 
cast iron skillet. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys have them. Uh, cast iron skillets aren't an essential kitchen tool, but I'm literally obsessed with kitchen gadgets. So I just put some black beans into the mix and now I'm going to smash them up. Smash, smash, smash. And basically, these are so simple. I just add a little bit of water whenever it's getting a little bit dry and I can tell that the beans are sticking on the bottom and there you go. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and give it a final mix and then turn the heat off. These are super fast to make too. And then I'm going to grate a carrot. I'm all about shredded carrots on pretty much everything. I'm sorry, but when you're buying organic vegetables, they taste so much more flavorful. A lot of people, like you'll see the amount of carrot that I put on my salad at the end and a lot of people would probably be like, oh my God, that's way too much carrot. But whenever it is good, like organic carrot, it really, really tastes delicious. Uh, I always put about half an avocado on mine and my fiance's salads. So I'm just gonna cut those up. I wish I had some salsa to put on this salad too, but I had just run out. Chop up some romaine. That is the salad green of choice for the taco salads. Chippy chop, chop chop. And then I'm ready to start plating. So I have these little like Taco Bell looking taco shell things that I put tortillas in and put them in the oven and they come out in that shape and then I break them open, top it with romaine, a bunch of carrot. I told you it's like a crazy amount of carrot. Um, and then I had this seasoned brown rice before. I sauteed some onion and just did oregano and cumin. So that is going on top of the salad as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this soy riso. It's like a, a vegan chorizo, like a Mexican chorizo, just like a really spicy meat substitute um, that I used to eat my eggs when I was vegetarian for a year and a half, but now I'm vegan for three months. There's my huge spoonfuls of beans. And then top it all off with my avocado, baby. I'm ready to roll. Super, super psyched to share this with you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this super quick and easy day in the life of a vegan. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, please leave it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Namaste.